Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanna show you a little Hobby Lobby haul I, I got. Um, normally I probably wouldn't show you this, but there's a project that I'm super excited to show you guys that I've got, I'm gonna do a tutorial on coming up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. But anyway, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna have to get up and grab what I got, but. All right, the first thing I got was and none of this was on sale, of course, because the one time I get to Hobby Lobby, none of the yarn's on sale. Anyway, but I ended up picking up some Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK Low Pill Fiber. I got this because I started a shawl and I needed a decent three weight. And I thought, well, I don't wanna just get their uh, their off brand. I don't remember what it is. But anyway, I, was, I thought, I, I want this to be more of a delicate, um, flowy yarn and I looked and looked and I found two that I liked and but I worked the pattern I started the pattern on both of them uh, both of the yarns that I liked and this one one I liked this one better for the shawl that I've got coming up um, the color is pretty and peacock da, 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 it's made in Turkey 478 yards four ounces oh here we go 114 grams 437 meters it's a hundred percent low pill uh, acrylic and it's a three weight so yeah I got three of these and um, 478 times three I don't know I can't do math that fast but it, that should be enough um, I think, I think that, I think that's going to be more than enough, honestly. But anyway, I got three of those. Very, very pretty color. What is it? Uh, pretty and peacock. So then the next thing I got is for another shawl that I have in the works. This is Yarnby Spinnies. Spinisi, I don't know, but it's in the color teal, and oh, this is soft. <laughs> it is 75% uh, viscose, 25% polyester, um, three and a half ounces, 99 grams, 350 yards, and 320 meters, and it's considered a three weight. Nah, I, it's, it's a it's a thin three-way I will say that um, I would almost put this in a two weight but yeah I, I would say it's a it's a very thin three-way um, but still it is super super soft and it's gonna make the shawl that I've got in mind for this that I want to design is gonna be perfect <laughs> with this yarn and it's just too stinking pretty that color even the girl at the register was kept telling me she's like that color is gorgeous I was like I know <laughs> that's why I got it and then I got uh, some just some regular four weight four weight skeins because I needed a four color combination and um, I actually ended up getting two sets of four, so I got eight one skein um, colors because I needed a four color combination and I liked two, two combinations that I picked out. And one of them is actually on my hook now on a project that I'm working on. So it's in the other room and I'll show you later, uh, like whenever I do that tutorial. But this is the other color combination that I got. Which, I mean, in the store, it looked good. <laughs> then when I got it home and I set it out, I was like, what was I doing with that? <laughs> it doesn't necessarily look exactly the way I thought it was going to. But, um, so I ended up going with the other color combination. But this is I love this yarn super soft rosy cheeks um, made in Turkey 
7 ounces, 199 grams, 355 yards or 325 meters. It's 100% acrylic and it's a four weight. So this is, uh, what color did I say? Rosy Cheeks. This one is Cherry Blossom. Antique Teal. Dark Denim. So, I mean, in my head and in the store, it looked better. <laughs> But I got those four. I'll probably just end up putting them up and use them for something else. Or combining them with other colors to make something else I like. But anyway, so the project I want to talk to you guys about that I made. Oh man, when did I make this? Probably seven years ago? seven, eight years ago, maybe. Um, I have it put up right now and it is miserably hot outside. It's in our garage in the, the attic of our garage. So I'm not going to get it right now, but I'll insert a picture. Uh, well, cause this is going to go up. I'll insert a picture. I'll have somebody dig it out of the garage for me. But anyway, I'll put the picture here. But um, isn't that cool? So what I've done is I found an old chair. So it's one of these old folding chairs, lawn chairs. And this thing is falling apart. My husband had this from before we you know, got together. Oh, it just, that went all over me. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to put that down. But anyway, um, my husband had that since before we were together. Oh, my gosh. And uh, so I'm going to tear it apart because if you sit in that thing, it's going to collapse. You're going to fall right through it. <laughs> so I'm going to tear it apart, and I'm going to redo it just like you did, like you've seen in that picture. And I picked two colors. And I'm hoping this is going to work. So first of all, these are the two colors I picked. These are at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're $8. It's a four millimeter. It's a four millimeter Bonnie craft cord. Um, it's a hundred yards. Uh, it's considered a six weight. I mean, it's heat fusible. So, it, you know, you can do all kinds of macrame with it. But here's the thing. The other one that I made that you've seen the picture of is a beach chair. So this is a normal uh, lawn chair, right? The one that you've seen the picture of is a beach chair to where, like, say this is the ground. It sits, like, that far off the ground. So you are on the sand when you're sitting in it at the beach, right? So it's a smaller chair, first of all. Second, the... Um, the, the Bonnie cord, the macrame cord that I used on that is a 2 millimeter. So they, at Hobby Lobby, they, um, they had the two millimeter, but they had like three colors and I did not like the colors. And I thought, you know, I bet this will still work. I mean, it's two millimeter difference. I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference. I hope it'll work out. I think it will. I'm going to try my dangdest to make this work. But I got two of each, so I have two of these and two of these. I have no idea if that's going to be enough or not. Um, if I'll, I may end up having to ordering more, order more. And I'm the type of person that I'd rather have way more than I need than not have enough because I am not. For me, it's not readily available just to jump and go get what I need. You know, because I, you know, I have to drive far to get it or I have to order it. But fingers crossed, I can get this to work. This color is sage and gold. Which that doesn't really look like sage. It looks like a, a muted teal to me. But anyway, that's my project. I'm gonna do it all on camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and 
fingers crossed it works out. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but I am super excited about it because that chair, the one that's put up in the garage, everybody loves that chair. Um, it was when we get it out. We get it. I get it out for like my nieces and my nephews to set in because everybody in my house is too big for it now. Unless you're at the beach, which we never go there. But um, they love sitting in that little chair. But anyway, so that is my project that I have got coming up. This is a short one. Um, I just, I just wanted to show you guys that because I'm I'm really excited and I'm pretty sure I can get that to work. So if you guys want to start looking at some yard sales you can look on marketplace on facebook marketplace look for ratty old lawn chairs and i, I bet you could find somebody that would just give it to you because you need to tear it apart anyway um maybe ask your friends ask your neighbor ask your family just find you an old chair that you want to tear apart old like those like does it creak i wonder oh no it doesn't remember when you guys when we, you'd get these and you'd unfold them and they'd go right <laughs> that's what I'm thinking but anyway find you one of those chairs and I would say I honestly bet I'm gonna I'm gonna break down and I think this weekend my husband and I are gonna go to town and I'm probably gonna end up buying another sage and another gold just to be on the safe side cuz ah uh, it makes me nervous I'd rather have too much than not enough. And besides, whatever I have left over, I can make a potted plant hanging dealio macrame thing. Do that. Get three of one color, three of another color. And then what, if we have leftovers, I will make a matching hanging little planter thing, okay? Ugh, I, I just, I'd rather have too much than not enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> that That's my personality. That's my my way of thinking. Okay guys, so get find you one of those old chairs if you guys want to follow along with me and get you some of that macrame cord and four millimeter, 100 yards of skein. Hobby Lobby has them. It's called Bonnie Cord. Oh. Yeah, Bonnie Craft Cord. All right, get you two colors. we can do it guys all right I'm gonna get out of here my girls have their first volleyball game of the season and it's like 102 outside so they're gonna be in a gym with no air and it's gonna be great <laughs> you said you pick up on that sarcasm <laughs> all right I'm gonna get out of here hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of what I got going on and I'll see you in the next one bye